Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash first paw media. The Dog Aging Project is researching canines over the age of 20 or super centurion dogs to discover what gives these pets more longevity. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. I'm your host, Michelle Forto, and I'm also the lead trainer for Alaska Dog Works, where we help humans and their dogs have better relationships. I've got a question for you. What is the oldest dog you have ever had? Did you know that the American Kennel Club lists the average life expectancy of about 10 to 12 years? This number can go up or down for a variety of factors, including health, genetics, diet, and environmental factors. Smaller dogs like toy breeds tend to live longer, while giant breeds like the Great Dane and Deerhound live much shorter lives, sometimes less than eight years. Any way around it, they don't live nearly long enough, do they? On today's podcast, we're going to discuss a study that is published in Nature, probably the most important academic journal for science in the world, about a new study into how long dogs live, bust the myth that each human year is equivalent to seven years for dogs. A commonly held belief is that a dog ages seven times faster than humans. So a one-year-old dog is comparable to a seven-year-old child. But the reality is that large breeds age 10 times quicker than humans, and some small dogs can be age slower than the supposed one to seven human year to dog year ratio. Now, scientists are studying the genomes of 10,000 dogs in a long-term study called the Dog Aging Project. Researchers hope they will learn why super centurion dogs live to 20, can survive so long, and use these findings to improve canine and human longevity. Professor Joshua Aki at Princeton University told SWNS, this is a very large, ambitious, wildly interdisciplinary project that has the potential to be a powerful resource for the broader scientific community. Personally, I find this project exciting because I think it will improve dog and ultimately human health, he added. The researchers hope to identify specific biomarkers of canine aging. This is the first study of its kind in dogs, and I think it's a clever way of trying to find genetic differences that contribute to exceptional longevity, Professor Aiki said. The research team anticipates that their findings will translate to human aging for several reasons. Dogs experience nearly every functional decline and disease of aging that people do. The extent of veterinary care parallels human health care in many ways, and our dogs share our lived environments, a significant determinant of aging and one that cannot be replicated in any lab setting. Given that dogs share the human environment and have a sophisticated healthcare system but are much shorter lived than people, they offer a unique opportunity to identify the genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors associated with healthy lifespan. University of Washington professor Daniel Promislow, a principal investigator for the study, said, The project was outlined in the journal Nature. So, if you like this story, stick around, and after a short break, we're going to share another one that I'm sure you will find interesting. We're living in uncertain times. 
If there is one thing we can be thankful for, that is the recent pet adoption boom. Shelters are being cleared out, and that means you may not know much about your new best friend. Alaska Dog Works virtual and on-site classes are the best way for you to build a lasting bond and learn about your pup, new or old. From setting up a proper routine to learning the commands and much more, Alaska Dog Works provides you with the resources to develop your dog into one of the best. Right now, Alaska Dog Works has an exclusive offer just for our listeners. Go to alaskadogworks.com now and use promo code DOGWORKS and save 20% off your training program at the time of your booking. Visit alaskadogworks.com and use promo code DOGWORKS to save 20% today. That's alaskadogworks.com and use promo code DOGWORKS at the time of booking. Here's a headline for you. Tennessee Dog celebrates 20th birthday as oldest golden retriever in history. Even a dog in Tennessee can make an impact on history. August, better known as Augie, made history on April 24th when she turned 20, becoming the oldest golden retriever ever, according to Golden Hearts Retrievers Rescue. Augie lives in Oakland, Tennessee, with her owners, Jennifer and Steve Hedderscheidt, who adopted the cute pup when she was 14. To celebrate her milestone birthday, Augie earned a dog-friendly carrot cake, as well as some quality time with her fellow Golden Retriever siblings, Sherman, Belle, and Bruce. And even at 20 years old, Augie is surprisingly healthy, her owner Jennifer said. She can still move around well, although she's a bit shaky when she first gets up and enjoys daily walks around the yard, Jennifer told the rescue. Since she was diagnosed with some kidney issues when she was 14, she now eats a mixture of wet and dry Hills Prescription Diet KD and takes some supplements for her kidneys and joints. Jennifer also said that Augie gets SQ fluids twice a week, which has helped her perk up quite a bit. According to Golden Hearts, most golden retrievers typically live for about 10 to 12 years. At most, they live to 15 years old. The outlet also listed five tips for helping your golden retriever live a long life. Listen to your veterinarian. Listen to your dog. Feed your dog quality food, groom your golden retriever regularly, and exercise your golden retriever regularly. We care for them as long as we can have them, Jennifer said, and love them forever. So do you remember that question I asked you at the beginning of the show? Let us know in that comment section or on social media. Just search DogWorks Radio. For more training tips and advice, please check out alaskadogworks.com. And one last thing, did you know that the single best thing you can do for us is tell your family and friends how you listen to our show? Who knows? Maybe they will become a rabid listener just like you. I'm Michelle Forto for DogWorks Radio. See you next time. From First Paw Media, this is DogWorks Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forto and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.